So this is going to be a hair tutorial on what to do if it's raining outside, if it's extremely humid, and um, if your hair is just not working with you. Probably do an updated hair tutorial of how I get my hair like this in the morning. But I did just walk through pouring rain and it was so humid that it was actually like fog everywhere. So if it's going to rain outside, you're definitely going to want to have your hair be curly if you have natural curls because if it's straight, um, it will get curly no matter what you do, no matter how much hairspray you put in it. If it's that humid outside, your hair is going to actually go back to being curly. So. Definitely don't straighten it if it's really, really raining and it's really humid outside. Um, so today that's what it was and I did my hair curly. And I also straightened my bangs over here and curled them over here. Today I had actually taken a shower so I had to wait till my hair got dry so I could do this tutorial. So all you're going to need is a brush. This one I'm pretty sure I just got from like CVS or something. It's a wide tooth comb. You're going to need this. Number one thing you're going to need Tresemme hairspray with the green label that says Tray 2 Extra Hold. Why I really, really like this hairspray is because it's especially for climate control, which means that it has humidity resistance and it'll last all day. And you're also going to be using this. This is um, a straightener. I like using this one the most. It's by KQC. And um, the reason I like using this the most is because the, um, the curl stays uh, the longest when I use this straightener. And it also can get up to really high heat so that the curls will stay longer as well. So the first thing you're going to do is take your brush and um, I've done this before in one of my other tutorials, but you're basically going to start it right here and brush the hair back to about your eye level. So right about to here is where you're gonna stop. Um, so, just brush it back. Now what this is doing is giving more volume in my hair because I'm brushing out the curls um, and making them more puffy at the top. Then when you bring your hair forward, the top of your hair should be extremely volumized. Um, looks a little bit crazy, but the next thing you want to do is plug your straightener in. So while your straightener is heating up, you're going to take it back and you're going to only want to take the crown section which is like that tease it I'm only um, teasing my crown section because that's really all the lift that you'll need. So you're just going to tease it a lot. Um, then you're going to hairspray the top of it, pat it in, and then I'm just going to tease a, just a little bit on the sides just to get more volume and lift. You don't want to spray the sides. You have some sort of round brush like this. You're going to want to flip the hair back. Yeah. <laughs> and um, just slowly kind of brush it out. But not just brushing it on the very top. Okay, so while it's still big and teased, you're going to take your straightener and you're just going to take random sections without uh, unteasing it. 
and curl them like that. The sections can be big or they can be small. You can do them quick or you can do it fast, doesn't really matter. More variety is better because um, then you'll have more volume. And you can even twist them different ways. You don't want to start too close to the root either, so I'll put the straightener on around right here. I'm not that close to the root. And um, don't worry about the frizzies if you do have frizzies because they'll go away when we're done. The hairspray will flatten the frizzies down. Don't worry about the curls being too uptight right now because we'll fix them afterwards. What you're going to want to do is just kind of loosen it up with your hands. Don't run your fingers like completely all the way through because then you'll ruin the tees. So. Okay. So you just kind of run your fingers loosely through it. Lift it up. I'm going to work on the bangs, so I like to take them down. And only touch the straightener on them at the ends. Just let the hair rest on the plate near the root. the ends. And this is the trickier part. You're going to take sections like this near the ends and run the brush up the curl. Then the, um, the bottom is just as volumized as, as the top. So you can see in this one, it kind of is big up here, but then it goes thinner right here, whereas this one is all the same. So take sections and run the brush up. Do one last spray. So. That's all there is to it. It only took me about five to ten minutes, not that long, and it'll last um, all throughout the humidity and the rain outside. Here's the sides, the back. Yeah, so that's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed, and you should definitely try it out. And um, let me know if it works, if you're able to go through the rain and the humidity without your hair getting completely ruined. Um, I've tried this look before and it has worked um, in the rain. So thanks for watching. Bye.